Good morning, and thank you for joining us for Morning Prayer this morning, Thursday, January 28th. Today we remember Thomas Aquinas, who was a priest and friar and the teacher of the faith, who died on this day in the year 1274. Let us prepare our hearts as we enter into morning prayer taken from the Book of Alternative Services. Our opening sentence is taken from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. We have received the Spirit which is from God, that we might understand the gifts which are bestowed on us by God. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is our light and our life. O come, let us worship. Together we will pray the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before the Lord's presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to God with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In the Lord's hands are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are God's also. The sea is God's, for God made it and the Lord's hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For the Lord is our God, and we are the people of God's pasture, and the sheep of God's hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to God's voice. The Lord is our light and our life. Oh, come, let us worship. Our first reading this morning is taken from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. It's perhaps one of the best known snippets of this letter, and we'll be reading all our readings today from the NRSV translation. So our lesson from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians reads, Love never ends, but as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror, dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now, faith, hope, and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. The psalm appointed for this morning is a portion of Psalm 119. Oh, how I love your law! It is my meditation all day long. Your commandment makes me wiser than my enemies, for it is always with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your decrees are my meditation. I understand more than the aged, for I kept your precepts. I hold back my feet from every evil way in order to keep your word. I do not turn away from your ordinances for you have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Glory, Glory be to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Our second reading is taken from the Gospel of John. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, so that they also may be sanctified in truth. I ask not only on behalf of these, but also on behalf of those who will believe in me 
through their word, that they may all be one. As you, Father, are in me, and I am in you, may they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given them, so that they may be one, as we are one, I in them, and you in me. That they may become completely one, so that the world may know that you have sent me, and have loved them even as you have loved me. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. So today we remember Thomas Aquinas. Thomas was a 13th century Dominican friar who spent most of his adult life teaching in universities. His powers of concentration were legendary. It is said that he once stood in front of three different scribes and dictated three separate works all at the same time without losing the train of thought in any of them. Thomas was also a man of constant prayer. His students often found him kneeling beside his desk when he was working on a difficult theological question. He understood that he had his gifts to help the church lay hold of the truth as it is in Jesus. Unlike many other theologians at that time, Thomas saw no contradiction between human reason and God's revelation. He once said that God gives grace not to destroy creation, but to make it perfect, to raise it above itself, so that the whole human being, through its reason, might actively share in God's own life. This insight has been gladly confirmed by the church, and particularly by our own Anglican tradition. So today we remember Thomas Aquinas. And now let us affirm our faith in the words of Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. And now we invite you to assume whatever posture you find most prayerful for the prayers of the people. In peace we pray to you, Lord God. For all people in their daily life and work, we pray for our families, our friends and neighbors, and for all those who are alone. For this community, this city, this province, our country, and the world. We pray for all those who work for justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and proper use of your creation. We pray for the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. We pray for all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. We pray for those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For the peace and unity of your church. We pray for all those who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. We pray for all who serve you, God, in whatever way. We pray for our needs and those of others. Hear us, Lord. For your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We will exalt you, O God, our King. We will praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all those who have died in the peace of Christ. 
and for those whose faith is known to you alone, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them who put their trust in you. Lord, we also pray to you for the forgiveness of our mistakes. Have, Have mercy upon us, most, most merciful Father. Father. In, in your, your compassion, compassion, forgive our mistakes, mistakes known and unknown, things done and left undone, and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, you have heard the prayers of your faithful people. You know our needs before we ask and our ignorance in asking. Grant our requests as may be best for us. This we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray the collect of the day. O oh God, you blessed your servant Thomas with singular gifts of wisdom and insight that your people might love with their understanding what you give them to know by faith. Grant us the freedom to embrace your church's teachings and the obedience to deepen its faith, that our knowledge may be perfected in worship and our faith may be fulfilled in love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Together, let us pray the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace enable us to do God's will in every kind of goodness, working in us what pleases God through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. From our house to yours, we hope you all have a wonderful and blessed Thursday. <laughs>